Hey guys! Welcome back to another video. In today's video I'll show you how to fetch weather data from Open Weather Map via the internet and display it on a TFT screen using an ESP32. As you can see, the time and local weather data are updated in real time. I tested this setup on the CYD board and it worked perfectly. I also pulled data from two different cities so it's easier to visualize. Before diving deeper, let me mention a common issue. If your screen stays blank and the UI doesn't show, it's probably because your ESP32 hasn't connected to Wi-Fi yet. We'll be using FreeRTUS to handle multiple tasks in this project. As you can see, on the left side, I'm not using RTUS. So the UI only shows after Wi-Fi connects and then it starts updating the data. But on the right side, with RTUS enabled, the UI appears instantly at startup while Wi-Fi and NTP connect in the background. Once they're ready, the status is updated on the UI. So the UI doesn't get blocked like in the left side demo. In case Wi-Fi fails to connect, the left version just shows a blank screen, nothing appears. But the right version still displays the full UI along with a status message telling you whether Wi-Fi is connected or not. All right, in this part, I'll give you a quick overview of the block diagram so you guys can understand the whole flow. First, the ESP32 sends an HTTP request to OpenWeather's API to fetch weather data. Once the request is received, OpenWeather responds with the weather info in JSON format. Then, the ESP32 parses the JSON, extracts the weather values, and displays them on the TFT screen. Okay, now let's move on to the code. First, go to the openweatherjet.h file. I'll walk you through some important parts so you can tweak it the way you want. First, enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password to connect to the internet. Time will be synced using ntp.org, so make sure to adjust the time zone based on your location. The most important part is adding your API key from OpenWeather and the city you want to get the weather data from. Head over to openweathermap.org, sign up for a free account. Click your username. Go to My API Keys, copy your API key, and paste it into the source code like I showed in the video. Then go back to the Open Weather website and search for the city you want. For example, I used Ho Chi Minh City, so I copied that and pasted it into the code. Note, if the city name has spaces, replace them with percent %20. That's the HTML encoding for space. If you just write it without replacing spaces, the API won't return any data. Next, we'll parse the JSON data received from OpenWeather. Speaking of JSON, I already made a dedicated video where I show how to use the Arduino JSON library, which is a super powerful tool that helps you easily encode and decode JSON strings. If you haven't seen it yet, feel free to check out that video on my channel. And in this video, of course, I'll also use Arduino JSON to work with OpenWeather data. I'll walk you through how to extract values like temperature, humidity, and weather conditions, then display them on the TFT screen. I opened the serial monitor to check out the raw JSON data sent from OpenWeather. As you can see, this is the original JSON string received by the ESP32. It's pretty long and hard to read in its raw format. So I used AI to reformat the JSON to make it more readable and easier to analyze. Now I can clearly see fields like main, temp, weather description, humidity, and so on. For example, if I want to get the temperature value, I start from the main object and access the temp field. The temperature returned by OpenWeather API is in Kelvin Fahrenheit, so to convert it to Celsius, just subtract 273.15. The value is stored as a float, so we get decimal precision. Same goes for humidity, we access it from the main object and read the humidity field. You can extract other values in the same way depending on what fields are included in the JSON response. In this video, I'm just extracting basic data like temperature, humidity, and weather description. If you've watched my previous video where I explained how to parse JSON using Arduino JSON, then this part should be easy to follow. At the end of this video, let's quickly go over some key functions in the source code. First, we have the Wi-Fi connection task. This task automatically connects to the pre-configured Wi-Fi. Once connected, it deletes itself to free up RAM and CPU, making sure the UI doesn't get blocked during startup. Next is the NTP sync task. It grabs the current time from an NTP server. Same as before, once it's done, it self-deletes to keep memory usage efficient. Both of these tasks are assigned to core zero of the ESP32 with low priority. 
so they don't interfere with the main UI. Lastly, we have the time update function. This runs once every minute to refresh the time. Of course, you can tweak the interval based on your needs. Back in the main.cpp file, I created a simple UI using a tool from lopaka.app. You can easily find it on Google. It's a super handy site that lets you design TFT or OLED screens with drag and drop, then simply copy the generated code into your project. In the next part of this video, I'll remake this project using LVGL to give it a more modern and polished UI, especially when running on the ESP32 S3. You'll find the full source code linked in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss future uploads. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.